What's up guys, Zane here, and welcome back to How to Make Guild in Final Fantasy XIV. In this video, I'm going to be doing the last class for crafters, and that is Culinarian. Now, Culinarian is probably the most different of all classes because um, Culinarian, basically the food is whatever is um, best as in whatever gives the best stats increase this pretty much is what's going to sell the most so first we're going to start with um, battle food so basically um, can't really say anything from heavens on uh, Alvaro Reborn is actually anywhere decent or good but the level 50 stuff I've seen people buy the uh, flint caviar because the high crit accuracy and vitality it gives. So let's go look that up first. All right, flint caviar, as you can see, is all over the place on the market, but <clears throat> the high quality is around 75, 74. Normal quality is down to at least almost 5,000. Not, this, like I said, not too many people buy a Realm Reborn food because the Heaven's Word food is a lot better. But if you are in, a, if you are still in a Realm Reborn, um, Flint and Caviar is probably one of the best things to sell. Even though they're not consistent here on Greg, again, hopefully on your server they are doing a lot better than ours. So pretty much, I would say if Flint Caviar is the only thing really good seller for level 50. Alright, so now we will get into Heaven's Ward. Now again, uh, level 50 to 60, there's not too many foods out there that's actually um, useful. So, uh, except one, there's, there's probably like one item I find found that was that was pretty good seller it was the bake papira uh, for because of the crit accuracy and vitality stats that they give and high quality gives you actually um, 37 points of vitality 34 and 18 for accuracy if you do high quality these sold very well when Alexander was the uh, raid Unfortunately, they have dropped considerably since, uh, I think, let's see, Midas, they dropped like good, like good 10,000, but you see here, uh, high quality is at least 4,000, normal quality is a little bit lower, but as you can see, they have sold consistently over the past two days. So next, we have the liver cheese sandwich. Now, these are actually uh, you are used in a lev quest for a culinarian. I think it's like the last level sixty uh, culinarian uh, levs in uh, an Ish uh, Ishgard. So these are definitely uh, something you guys want to make if you want to. You can also sell them. People will buy them, then turn them in. They're power leveling. So let's put that in here. Alright. So I can see there's only eight hits on the market board for uh, from for uh, for Gilgamesh here. And even though they're pretty cheap, not too many people are buying them uh, buying them here. But again, on your hope on your server they they sell they sell a lot better. But Definitely, that's what they're used for. And also, I believe they're also used in scripts as well. Let me take a quick look. Nope. I don't see it on here. Pretty sure it'll, it come, it'll pop in eventually. Alright. You also can sell the uh, 
the maroon glaze because this is uh, a part of the level 60 uh, class quest. Normal quality is 700. High quality at 2000. Uh, let's see, they have been selling too well, too too well here. But again, hopefully, guys on your server, they're uh, they'll be flying off the shelves. It's also good good food for uh, for spellcasters. All right. So next we're going to go into the Heaven's Ward items. Alright, so now let's go into the one star stuff. Alright, first off we have st Steam Staff. Um, a lot of these uh, items um, come from the, uh, the item from Steam Staff is uh, the Retribution Staff which comes from the Diadem. But because uh, the Diadem is, sh is shut down, they put these in scripts. So you can get them high quality, I think for 150 blue scripts, or you can get them normal quality. Uh, on a alone, normal quality, you get 32 crit, 30 vitality, and 13 skill speed, but high quality it's 40 crit, 37 uh, vitality, and 16 skill speed. And on the market board, They're decently priced, almost just below 10,000. And there's where they start selling off, pretty much off the, like crazy. Not too much today, but yesterday they've been selling like hotcakes. All right, for casters, creme brulee, is actually a pretty good seller with uh, spell speed at 40 for high quality, 13 determination, and 37 vitality, high quality, 32 spell speed, 30 vitality, and 10 for normal quality. Here you can see they're horribly undercutted. But high quality is over 7,000. Not really much normal quality because normal quality is all screwed up. But no, so the reason why I'm telling you, I'm saying Creme Brulee is good because I've seen it. I've seen it sell quite well in the pa uh, past patches. So again, hopefully on your server they do, they're doing better than than here than on Greg here. Next, I believe that's actually it for that one. So now we're going into the uh, two star, three star, and four star stuff. So the, most of the two star I haven't seen that and never sold very well. The three star stuff, pretty much the same. So we're gonna go straight into the four star stuff. And the one that I've seen sold very well is the Prisley um, omelet. Normal quality, you get 42 crit, 44 uh, vitality, and 19 accuracy. High quality, you get 53 crit, 55 vitality, and 24 accuracy. So, here we are. At normal quality, we have 5,200. Uh, uh, five, five, yeah, 5, and the high quality is up to 11,500. And as you can see here, they're consistently sold all day. The mixture of both high and normal quality. Alright. Next we have the, I guess, the caster's equ equivalent. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but um, it has 42 spell speed, 44 vitality, and 19 crit for normal. 53 uh, spell speed, uh, 55 vit, and 24 for critical hit. Let's 
put that in the let's see what we get all right all right this one's a little bit a little bit better price that lowest we got nine thousand for normal quality up to twelve thousand for up to twelve thousand and high quality goes up to eighteen thousand up to the high 20s and unlike unlike the omelets they sold a little bit slower today but they can sell they're selling consistently in the past two days both normal and high quality versions So I let's see what else is there. We got the scrambled eggs, the corn on blue. All right, let's go check the market board for those two because I I haven't really looked at those yet. All right, scrambled this the wildwood scrambled eggs. Uh, determination, vitality, and skill speed. Determination is 46, high quality, 55 vitality, high quality, and 24 skill speed, high quality. Uh, as you can see, the normal quality scales from 6,000 to 20,000, high quality, 21,000 to 30,000. And there's, the sales have been a little bit slower, but they seem to be selling consistently, both high quality and normal quality. So this all seems to be good. All right. Check the cord on blue. Okay, the uh, the cord on blue actually looks like it's pretty decently priced. Seventeen thousand be of normal quality. High quality is thirty-five thousand. It's got skill, speed, vitality, and determination. Skill speed is at 53 high, uh, high quality, Vital is at 55, and Termination is at 21. Even though they haven't sold consistently great past couple of days, they are extremely expensive. So people are still buying them. So hopefully on your server, they're, they've been selling quite well. So I definitely, rec re definitely recommend the Corn and Blue and the you know, Wild Eggs as well. Right now we're going to get into the crafting recipes. We're actually going to go back into uh, uh, Realm Reborn. All right, we got crafting and gathering to go through. Uh, for uh, Realm Reborn, the crafting, uh, Bula base was pretty much the um, go-to um, food for crafters because CP was most most important. At the time, so normal quality builder base will give you 34 CP. High quality will give you 43. I don't know how much builder base has been selling for lately because I really haven't cared to make it anymore. All right, pretty cheap, but. If you're if you're uh, in, still in the Realm Reborn content, Bullet Base is pretty much uh, one of the uh, items you would uh, want to sell. Maybe peop uh, some crafters who aren't level 60 yet most likely will turn to Bullet Base. All right. Let's see what's next. All right, next we have the bacon broth, which is actually used for desynthesis. Now, careful desynthesis um, will give you plus two of high quality and plus one of normal quality. And those will increase your, ch your uh, success rate for desynthesis. Uh, I don't really know the numbers of how much above the item level your your skill is but I think it might add in let's see if you're if you're at level with the item you're synthesizing it's 50 50 I believe plus one will give you at least think extra 10 points 
I'm not entirely sure about that, but I'm pretty sure that's how they that's how it how it scales. So we got bacon broth. Ah, okay, bacon broth is definitely uh pretty good. As you can see, normal quality is at twenty thousand. High quality is double that. And they've been selling good pretty good the past three days. Both normal and high quality. So definitely um, sell bacon broth if you're in uh, Realm Reborn. And let's go straight into Heaven's Word now. At 51 to 55, you pretty much would want to sell baked onion soup. CP and craftsmanship. High quality will give high quality will give you 48 CP, 28 craftsmanship, normal quality will give you 22, and 38 CP. Baked onion soup is like all over the place because it's so easily you can easily make it. But as you can see, they sold pretty good the past past three days, mostly high quality. So baked onion soup is pretty is pretty good if you're starting out. Let's see. Next on the list. We have beet soup. Uh, control and craftsmanship, 54 control, 23 craftsmanship if normal quality. 68 control with 29 craftsmanship if high quality. Right, beet soup is a little bit more cheaper. But they have been so they have been selling Decently, the past three days, also high quality. Let's give you that extra oomph in trying to get to level 60. All right, so next we're going to go into the second half. Here we have um, Clam Chowder, which gives you control in CP. Control high quality is 73. CP high quality is 19. Normal quality control is 58 and 15 for CP. Now, so you can see Clam Chowder is extremely expensive, but I knew this was going to be expensive because I looked the other day when I was doing my grand company turn-ins and I saw these were extremely expensive. This person undercut it really bad, so thumbs down to them. But normal quality is just below 20,000, high quality is up to 35,000. And even though they really haven't been selling too, too well, like I said, hopefully on your server you're doing a lot better. So next, we're going to go into, so I don't think there's anything in Master Recipe. No, I was staying away from the Shark's Fin Soup, is really. Alright, so let's go right into he uh, Heaven's Ward. Let's see, one star, we have Seafood Stew, okay. Seafood stew is pretty much is where you're gonna is your go-to uh, uh, craftsmanship food. CP is 40 normal quality, control 25 high on normal quality, high quality at 50 CP and control as 31 for high quality. Seafood stew. All right, there's not really no, any normal quality because no one really wants normal quality. I always want high quality with this stuff. So high quality is just below 10,000 and it goes up to at least 14 to 15. And they've been selling consistently the past two days. Not surprised there, I use it all the time. Definitely your go-to food when you, when you hit end game. So 
Tycoon's War 2 now. I don't know, not too many people really use a 4 star because seafood stew is like the best. But for 3 star, we have the Heaven's Egg Soup. It has control, craftsmanship, and CP. Of course, the CP is the lowest. That's why not too many people really use them. But control is at 62, craftsmanship at 42, and CP at 8 normal quality. High quality at 77 control, 53 craftsmanship, and 10 CP. Heaven's Egg Soup is not that bad. Most unknown quality is 13,000 up to 20. High quality is 22,000 up to almost 50. And as you can see on Greg here, they aren't very good sellers. But if you guys want to go ahead and try making these, go right ahead. I'm pretty sure somebody out there will buy these. But that's pretty much the f it for Culinarian. Uh, pretty much good, pretty good sellers for uh, craftsmanship. I don't see too many people get you buying the gathering food, so I'll not really in include gathering. So pretty much stick to your um, the raid food, which has mostly crit in it, and the craftsmanship food, big onion soup, and uh, seafood stew when you get to Heaven's Ward. I probably wouldn't, I would say don't go for Blue Base, but if you're in uh, a Rumble Born and staying in a Rumble Born for a while, and Bully Base is your pretty much your food if you want to sell. But uh, that that's going to be my last uh, my last crafting uh, crafting video. Um, next, I am going to go over gathering, and there's going to be a lot of a lot of stuff for gathering. So expect to see a lot, a lot of videos for gathering because there's so much to cover, and I kind of wanted to make them short so you guys don't get too bored. All right. So guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy XIV videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, may you all walk in the light of Lord Bahamut. Take care, guys.